I have always felt that we humans uh, do not see uh, the science uh, in any event, but we do the highest level of science. How do we do that? Actually, we look into morphogenesis, that is, change in the geometric shapes in a very particular manner. So even time is converted into geometric shapes, space is converted into geometric shape, spatiotemporal dynamics is converted into geometric shapes. You all can understand that time converted into geometric shape, you all can understand the shape converted into geometric shape, but when spatiotemporal dynamics is converted, uh, say we, you know, something is changing with, uh, in, a, in a space and time together, and that is perceived by our cognitive mind. And we make rules, our cognition, our consciousness, our all kind of uh, um, experiences that cannot be explained simply with logical terms comes from morphogenesis. And if we do not understand and map all types of morphogenesis that is happening in nature, it is very difficult to understand the how a human thought process or qualia and other kind of features that emerge in our human mind. So today I will um, take you to a journey, short journey uh, for um, uh, morphogenesis. The first uh, is a um, single e equation describing a whole bunch of geometric transformation and returning to the initial uh, point. So these are all polar equations or uh, something. Say teardrop to ellipsoid to sphere transformation. Hmm? Uh, where did you see this? When uh, rain falls, uh, first this is uh, like a sphere and then it converts into a teardrop. You have seen our brain to spinal cord. It's like a teardrop. Um, if you have seen uh, sperm, it's like a teardrop. An ellipsoid egg, you have seen. So sperm and uh, see sperm and uh, sphere, the egg, when they come together, then life forms. So uh, you will find this teardrop shape in the uh, extra galactic um, object, cosmic objects and everywhere. Why this is so um, transformative because uh, even when protein gets synthesized it, it forms a, a teardrop like structures first and then slowly it, it forms into a sphere or spheroid or ellipsoid so uh, a one single polar equation can explain or model entire thing so when a set of geometric structure transforms and returns to the initial point which is called a rita Mm, uh, as by, by Vedas, the fundamental property of universe to come to the initial, to try to come to the initial point, uh, space, time, spatiotemporal dynamics, everything, uh, whatever falls in, uh, in the six dimension category of, of uh, Prakriti or, or, or Maya, the, that always try to uh, try to come back in the initial point that Rita property is one of the key features. The second uh, feature is um, is covering the space. You have seen, suppose you have a circle, you put a big one, then a little bit smaller, 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 smaller. And then you try to follow a mathematical equation to create a big uh, Fibonacci series or different kind of geometric series you can. An infinite series you, you can take you know, of diameters and then you slowly decrease, 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 decrease diameter and can, you can fill up the space mm, completely. So, mm, an, an infinite series of a very particular mathematics uh, can give us geometric shape change in the, in the, in the shape, uh, not uh, size, not in the shape. So, forget about shape. A particular size and you can make a smaller 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 and then you can cover a space so that is another way of uh, how you can um, and how you can um, uh, you can build up a spatiotemporal dynamics so spatiotemporal dynamics if it is written on a sphere you can make it smaller 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 and any shape 
you can cover with those kind of geometric shapes. So that is another way of morphogenesis that happens in nature and our brain picks up. The third one is the autobiography of a clock. So how you can arrange the clocks together so that they will be able to collectively generate a projection of a spatiotemporal dynamics. So this is almost like a polyatomic time crystal that we have uh, suggested that the clocks should have three fundamental properties by uh, Vedic uh, uh, Hinduism. And of course, um, polyatomic time crystal was inspired by Vedic Hinduism, where first they say um, Kala Chakra, so time moves in a circle. So you can uh, take a big phase sphere and you put those circles. Then uh, that is fourth dimension of time. And then fifth dimension of time, you create big holes on the surface of the sphere and you embed new spheres. And then you start uh, seeing the interaction between the spheres. And that is how you can um, uh, you can generate hyperspace concept of uh, that you need in quantum or in a quantum like event. So in quantum like event uh, in nature that is happening around us, we have to capture that uh, very well because um, because though we humans believe that we do we do not care about uh, care about um, these quantum like features, but we do we do very much uh, care about quantum like events where uh, superposition entanglement retroactive uh, uh, features and and tunneling all these four hallmarks of quantum mechanics that are happening in many many different events we picture them up. And just like fruits of the of the tree, and then we branch them together, and then create our transfer function network. That is our thought. That is our um, our, our thinking process. So, uh, so when we have this kind of uh, map of clocks. Um, um, like it can, there could be birth and death of the clocks, there could be self-assembly of the clocks, there could be attraction, repulsion of the clocks, there could be infinite clock network, there could be ordering of clocks and transformative changes. Um, so all these kind of things would, would happen with fourth dimension, fifth dimension, the sixth dimension, especially where we create another imaginary sphere, where uh, all the combinations that is possible with certain number of clocks, like 12 clocks, you can arrange uh, 2 into 2 into 3, 3 into 2 into 2 in this way, many different uh, kind of parts. Where ordering is important is non-commutative. That means you cannot, uh, they are so much attached, uh, in, intimately attached to it, each other, that independent uh, features is gone. So whenever you are ordering or taking ordered facts, of an integer you are basically estimating the non-commutativeness and that when you put it on the on the surface of the sphere so when you have mm, all these incredible features of uh, of nesting hosting uh, superposition this fourth dimension fifth dimension six dimension of different clocks in executing uh, seven to eight different kind of fundamental features of life then that is autobiography of a clock then you come to the uh, come to the fourth dimension uh, fourth feature of uh, of morphogenesis the fourth one is about counting now you will say counting how is that well we do count in our mind subconscious mind and how do you do that um, basically you count knots if there are uh, in, uh, this like gamma like no knots are there loops are there number of singularities are there number of asymptotic situations are there number of system points are there system points means you have a clock uh, you have a sphere and one clock is moving like this when one system point another system point is moving like this you will count the number of system points a sphere is the host that you always you would see you would perceive but after that you count the um, system points. So now you can have nested different kind of modes, uh, different kind of um, uh, different kind of uh, return of um, of nesting of um, of different uh, spirals or helices. So from one point, many different kind of vortices will come out, and then you will find out that what are the key features of those uh, those kind of kind of vortices. So any kind of nesting that is happening uh, there, you. Go and 
count the uh, invariance. So this is very important because um, Purusha uh, or, um, or the mathematical universe, um, if we say 10th uh, uh, to 12th dimension, 10th, 11th and 12th dimension, right? density of primes and its geometries and its uh, superposition and co composition of different ways uh, can, can influence the way we are looking at, uh, looking at, the, um, at, the, at the universe. Then counting is the, one of the most promising uh, and, and important factor. You will believe it or not. Uh, you always search for fivefold symmetry, fact, fractal of fivefold symmetries in nature. Uh, and at the cosmic level, to the, um, to the smallest uh, elementary particle level, always you will find that um, fivefold symmetry. My two hands, two legs, and the body is a fivefold symmetry. But my fingers are also fivefold symmetry. So it's a fractal of five. So when we uh, move the fingers, move the body in a, in different Natarajas dance form, basically what we are doing is we are exploring the five-fold symmetry and with 11 11 fold uh, fold symmetry the duality of the two uh, coming together because uh, 2n plus 1 uh, 5 2n uh, plus 1 is 11 so 2n plus 1 is a formulation where duality um, uh, duality uh, plays a role the two primes uh, separated by a by the number six uh, so, you know, they, uh, so this kind of situation this kind of symmetries give us to to 108 different problems so that is a triplet of triplet so triplet of triplet structure is kind of um what is triplet of triplet because we have three different bands and uh, say kilohertz megahertz gigahertz uh, three different clocks second hour um and uh, and minutes minutes in between and each each one have three more clocks okay so second has three different clocks uh, minute have three different clocks and uh, hour have a three different clock so when you have this kind of triplet or triplet situations then what you do is uh, you create with 12 um, 108 expressions like 108 dance forms of Shiva, 108 different ragas to, to, to expose the, the mind and others and um, 108 different kind of names are there. So what happens is when you explore the fivefold symmetry, you end up with a 108 different fundamental expressions that can happen with uh, with a fractal of fivefold symmetry, and that you always look for in nature, and you can understand the very expression of of super consciousness into it. So people came up with the concept of God just because they always look for five and fivefold symmetry by which they are made of, and they identify 108 whenever they identify a 108 different expressions of a simple single thought in nature that is happening as in terms of special temporal dynamics or morphogenesis then they can perceive there is something super being and sometimes they call it god but of course it's a particular mathematics by which you are created that's why they say that you are the expression of god you are god we always love to see branching out that is the next morphogenesis I'm going, going to talk about. So from a single point, how many ways you can branch out? How many ways you can spiral out? How many ways you can add different different uh, term, uh, different points into, into one point and into one thought? You will start with one thought and bring similar thoughts into it and then into it, into it, into it and create a fractal architecture. So engineering of a point, engineering of a single point, engineering of a uh, the quest to make a one point undefined is a fundamental um, cognitive uh, thrust that every single human mind has and it happens in nature everywhere and we always tend to look at this particular type of morphogenesis where branching in a different way ohm is like uh, you have point you have anti-clockwise clockwise and then you have superposition of clockwise and anti-clockwise so three different kind of mm, dancing are there which which gives you gives you gives you a very particular kind of kind of um, branching for say we also look for magic numbers magic numbers come in nature in various forms and you might think that uh, number is just a number I, is it something like counting kind of morphogenesis to talk about no i didn't i talked about um, exactly the magic number for an example um, there are several magic numbers how do you find it if you see 
the uh, paired pride like three and five four you will get in all festivals whenever there is a joy is a square so that geometric shape is related to the joy or or pleasure or eternal um, um, pleasure and uh, that is important 11 and 13 12 is in between that is important i talked about the triplet of primes or devic devic numbers that that are profound in hinduism however you will find that uh, between two integers there are some magic numbers who are very high in in order factor where superposition or alternate or non commutative ness of quantum mechanics exceeds all possible limits then you get attracted to it and you tend to find those numbers um, for an example um, 108 is between 107 and 109 so you go there and um, uh, 102 you will find at many different places 101 and 103 uh, two, 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 two primes so in this way you will find some set of paired primes um, which is uh, and in between that there are the magic numbers primarily magic numbers are located there are other prime num magic numbers also a set of primes could be also part of a magic series magic series means they are correlated with a very fundamental relationship because of the number system itself it is not taken from outside or something so the inherent density of primes which are there as a fundamental code of the universe is the last type of morphogenesis that i wanted to talk about so morphogenesis is a process where beyond logic you go and you find hidden similarities which you cannot explain with a normal um, logical behavior for an example primes you can't explain it in normal behavior the reason is that it is non-repeating it doesn't follow any rule so it gives you continuously a newer 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 pleasure so morphogenesis is some way it's a it's your connect between uh, between logical and illogical world so quantum light features that are happening all around us morphogenesis gives us a way to look at it could be that origin of quantum mechanics is morphogenesis